guys so in this video we are looking at the birth life and death of stars just a fun fact about me i love this topic i love learning about space stars do not exist forever but then how are they born stars form inside huge clouds of gas and dust called nebula far out into space these nebula are pulled together by gravity and slowly collapse as they contract they heat up and once the temperature is high enough, a nuclear fusion reaction begins that changes hydrogen to helium. And this reaction radiates large amounts of energy into space. So that is how a star is born. Not the movie, but actually in space, that is how stars are born. Okay, the life of a star. Stars change in their appearance over billions of years. And our sun is about halfway through its life cycle. So if you hear anyone saying, oh no, the sun is going to explode, please, you know now that they're lying. It is a medium-sized yellow star with a lifespan of about 9 billion years. So we're still okay. Mostly stars change hydrogen to helium, like we discussed there in the birth of a star. Later, towards the end of their life, stars will swell up to form a red giant. Okay, so the death of a star. At some point, the nuclear reaction runs out of fuel. For stars like the sun, the core of the star contracts, contracts means to become smaller, to become a white dwarf. For stars like the sun, the outer gases of the star are ejected into space, where they form an expanding cloud around the white dwarf called planetary nebula. Planetary nebula are lit up by their central white dwarf star and are beautiful objects to observe. Okay, so that is the birth, life, and death of a star. Hopefully the pictures also enhance what I've been saying so you can actually see what it looks like when a star is born, how it lives, and how it dies. But that is all for me. Bye!